Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the cannabis sector. Okay, first up we're going to look at canopy growth here. A nice two-day move, closed up nearly 9%. RSA is starting to heat up here at 39. Fasto is still below that 20 oversold line. You've got plus DI hooking up with minus DI hooking down. So so that there, there was a nice technical development today. There was a close above EMA4, the pink line. It was the first close above that level since back here on the 6th. 16th. Um, that was the day before the chart really started breaking down. That was when the uh, bearish reversal pattern formed. And, and, and so the close today above that level, that, that, that's a change in trend. That's a bullish change in trend. So now the the the, the key, the, the big level to uh, focus on for tomorrow is EMA4 at 36.29. If, if the share price stays above that level, that signals CGC can head higher. And, and then the next level is gonna, to break is going to be this 100-day uh, simple moving average at 308. And then you have the um, the EMA eight there at thirty eight forty two. So you have th basically thirty eight and uh, th between thirty eight and thirty eight forty are going to be the big levels to break tomorrow. Um, if it can close above both of those levels, that'll signal that it wants to head higher. If it stalls out of that, uh, stalls out at that level, that'll signal a temporary top. N notice that this zone was uh, big support, and so um, it could turn into uh, resistance when tested. And so it's all lining up here with this thirty eight level. And so it's going to be uh, all about turning thirty eight into support tomorrow. Okay, so if we look here uh, at CGC on the 15-minute uh, chart, you could see here it had a nice uh, uptrending channel for the last two days. Uh, it, it ended up uh, breaking above that 50 simple moving average, the green line at the open today. And then it was working on the gold line, the 100 simple moving average, all day until it finally broke above here at 145. That's the key level to hold, the, the, the middle Bollinger Band here at 36.37 and that 100 simple moving average at 35.95. If both of those levels are holding, it signals that, that that CGC can keep pushing higher. It's going to need to break high close uh, horizontal resistance here, just above 37. And then if it can get above that level, the the, the big level on the 15 minute chart is going to be the 200 simple moving average at 38. Okay, so 38 again is the big level. It's going to be all about breaking 38 and turning it into support. If it can, then that's going to signal it wants to head higher. If it fails to break that level when tested, it could be a temporary top. Okay, let's look at Cronus Group here. So Cronus Group's heating up as well. Um, you know, it had a nice nice follow through today with another 5% gain. So so adding on to yesterday's gain, you know, it's still oversold down here on Fasto below 20, you know, RSI at 38. Uh, you've got, you know, Plus DI has been, uh, hang, you know, just basically uh, converged there with, with ADX. And, and so today there was also a close above EMA4 for Cronus Groups at 7, uh, 739. And so that's going to be the big level to hold. If it can stay above that 740 level, hold 739, that it could keep the bounce going. The last close above EMA4 was back here on, on this candle, right when it was uh, trying to get back above the middle Bollinger Band. And so this is a bullish change in trend. Okay, if it if it drops below EMA4, the downside risk is it comes back down and tests that 300 simple moving average at 640. If it breaks above, you know, if it holds EMA4 to the upside, the big level is going to be this red line and lime line. That's the 200 day simple moving average in EMA8, basically at 784. 785. If you get above that level, that'll signal it wants to head higher. If you see it starts stalling out in that 785 to 790 zone, that, that could signal a temporary top. <clears throat> Basically, it has to get above this line and hold this line. You know, be below the pink line signals downside risk, above the red and lime line signals upside potential. If you look here at Cronus Group on the 15 minute chart, it looks just like the CGC chart pretty much. You know, it has that nice uptrend over the last two days. It gap up open above the green line, above the uh, 50 simple moving average. Yesterday, the move was getting above the dotted purple line, the middle Bollinger Band. And then today, there was a close up here above the gold line, which is the 100 simple moving average. That's the big level to hold at 734. If it dropped below that, that would signal that that it could possibly consolidate. And then you have the 50 simple moving average at 720 just below. If it broke below the 50 simple moving average at 720, that's when it could really start dropping lower. So you need to be careful, um, it, you know, similar to right here when it was above the green line and then it got below. And then that's when the 
floor can really drop out. So it really needs to hold these levels to push higher. It, it, it did pull back a little bit into the close there, testing that middle Bollinger Band at 740. So you want to see that hold and then a break above the 750 resistance zone. If you can get above 750, the 200 simple moving average at 780 is going to be the next target. Fail to break the 200 simple moving average when tested will signal a temporary top. It's going to need to break that level to head higher. Okay, so let's check check out Aurora Cannabis here, ticker symbol ACB. Uh, you know, uh, also heating up here at 38 on RSI. You know, these charts are all looking very similar. You have Fasto here at 19, still below the 18 level, trying to break above 20. So nice uh, two-day move. You know, it bounced yesterday and then had the follow-through today. And so th there was a close above EMA4 at 667. That's the first close above that level since, uh, yeah, I guess back here on this red candle on the 16th. And so that was when the bearish reversal pattern formed and that was and then the downtrend started. So so all these candles are below the pink line and then today there was a close above. There was a change in the program. They 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 allowed it to bounce. They they're allowing it to uh, tr try to push higher. Now now you're going to know if uh you know um, it, it's cooling down if it drops below EMA4 at 667 and then uh, if it has to also hold the 300 day simple moving average at 634. If it drops below 634 that's going to signal downside risk and it has to close above EMA4 to signal it wants to head higher. If you hold any of these stocks long that are closing below EMA4 on the daily chart, it is a risk. It does signal that the bears are in control. And so uh, to the upside, it's going to have to break this cluster of moving averages. You have the 100 and 200 day simple moving averages in EMA8 all converged here, basically between 1720 and 1740. And so if they can push through 1740, the red line here, the 200 day simple moving average, that will signal that it, you know it's trying to push higher. If it stalls out in that zone, that could signal a temporary top. You have to keep in mind that, that all these stocks are in a downtrend. When, when, when this red candle formed on the 22nd, it closed below the dotted purple line here. The dotted purple line uh, it was the middle Bollinger Band, also the 20-day simple moving average. When there was a close above that level on August the 20th, that signaled the start of a new uptrend. Well, the opposite of that is the start of a new downtrend, and that happened right here on the 22nd. So so the, the, the cannabis stocks are in a downtrend right now. They're below the middle Bollinger Band, which is way up here at 903. So any bounce is just a short cover rally until the middle Bollinger Band turns into support. That goes for Cronus Group, uh, Canopy Growth, any of these stocks that are that are in the cannabis sector that are trading below the middle Bollinger Band. You have to, uh, you know, look at bounces as just short cover rallies until they get back above that middle Bollinger Band. So just throwing that out, at, throwing that out out there, you know, at throwing that out at you because, uh, yeah, um, you know, you have to follow the charts here. Otherwise, you know, they could pull back. There are unfilled gaps below. I, you can watch the previous uh, two videos. <clears throat> I, I talked a lot about the gaps, so if you want to see the gaps that are below, check that th those videos out. And then, so so uh, if you look at ACB on the 15-minute chart, you could see uh, you know it was breaking above that 50 simple moving average yesterday. It was working on that level at the green line, and then today it got above the 100 simple moving average, the gold line, in the middle of the day, and then it pushed higher. It closed at a high of day, so so it was the, the, the or the high it was the highest close of the day on the 15-minute chart was the last candle, and so that's really bull. You know, it was pushing hard. It has this nice uptrending channel. Um, you know, if you look at the top of the channel on, on all of these charts here, on the 15-minute chart, you can see with Kronos Group, they're all lining up with the 200 simple moving average. You can see here with uh, Canopy Growth, you can see how the, 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 the next top should be right up here at the 200. And so that's going to be the, the, the lock and gain zone. You know, it's the top of the channel. It may pull back one more time. It's going to have to break above. You know, it's lined up perfect with hitting this 200 simple moving average average and that's the same setup <clears throat> set up here with Aurora Cannabis. It's going to have to get above the 200 simple moving average at 712 to head higher. It looks like the top of this channel is more at $7, so keep an eye on 7. So it's between the 7 and 712. Get above the 200 simple moving average and these, these stocks can keep running. You know, they, 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 they could go all the way up to the 300 simple moving average which is way up here at 822. You know, there is going to be other resistance levels but, it, you know, just, uh, just to throw it out there, it, you know, they, they, they could very well bust through resistance 
resistance and keep pushing higher. You know, I'm just uh, it's preparing you for, uh, you know, potentially them stalling out at that 200 simple moving average. Okay, so Afria, th this is the big one right now. This is the one that, that's been uh, moving the best because uh, they're getting ready to list on the New York Stock Exchange. And this happens on November 2nd. So it's coming up, uh, you know, so uh, it's going to be a big move. And so right now they are running uh, Afria in, in anticipation of this uplisting. As you can see up here in the right hand or left hand corner that, that you have, uh, it says uh, OTC. I guess it's kind of hard to see that. But uh, yeah, o OTC up there. It's it, the, Right now this trades on over the counter market. And then it's going to be uh, it, it, moving up to the big board like uh, uh, the other uh, the, these three other cannabis stocks. And the, and the, uh, Afria is going to be joining uh, uh, Aurora Cannabis and, um, and uh, uh, Canopy Growth here uh, on uh, the New York Stock Exchange also with uh let's see and and uh yeah the Kronos group is on the nasdaq and so uh yeah and i, I believe tilray is on the nasdaq as well and so yeah so afria is going to be joining on the uh, new york stock exchange and so this is going to be a big move and, and so it's running in anticipation of that move and so you can see it's doing a little bit better than the other uh, other stocks you can see the, the, the that i just showed you rsi is all the way up at 45 you've got fasto all the way up at 36 it's already above the 20 level you know you've got plus di pushing harder off the bottom and minus di pushing down harder you know signaling the bulls are heating up and then there was a close above ema8 so it broke the next level you know it, it it got above ema4 and actually broke the next one ema8 you know there wasn't a close above that level since back here on this red candle so it signals the charts really heating up now what you're looking for is a break above ema13 at 1219 if it can get above that level you have the middle bollinger band and the 50-day simple moving average up here between between 1310 and 1354 it's going to have to get above that green line to start pushing higher to try to test that you know all-time high close up there near uh, 1650 I think that is right about 1650 so yeah if it stalls out up here in this 13 to 1350 zone that would signal a temporary top it is going to have to get above EMA 13 and then to the downside you know you have a, you have a lot of support now now that it's above the, the all, all these moving averages it's going to need to stay above in order to push higher if it were to drop below that would signal more consolidation so we'll see if they can keep pushing this for uh you know leading up into the uh into the uplisting and then you always have to you know if they're if they're running something leading into a big event um you always have to be on the lookout for sell the news so just keep that in mind on the second um you know uh, just something to always keep in mind and uh yeah if you look here at APHQF on the 15 minute chart you can see here it was really strong uh you know it got above that 50 simple moving average at the open today the green line and then you know yesterday it got above the, the dotted purple line, the middle Bollinger Band, and then it got above the 100 simple moving average, the gold line, and then it actually broke above the next level. We were talking about these other stocks getting up to the red line and possibly breaking that. Well, Afria has already broken that level. So if Afria is, is uh, signaling where the other ones are headed, maybe they're going to follow Afria and get above that 200 simple moving average as well. That would be great. And so Afria now is the step ahead. That's why I think you should uh, watch this one to see how this performs because it's doing a little bit better than all the other ones it's returning a uh, little better gains here and uh yeah the, the next target's going to be up here at that that 300 simple moving average at 1253 if you can keep the uptrend going you can see it just pushed in and it's just holding the top of this channel it's just riding it and so it didn't the other ones you know hit and pull back and, and this one's just pushing hard and, and so it's going to be all about getting above this uh you know high close here at, at about 1225 is going to be a big level and then it's this 300 simple moving average at 1253 and then above that is this high close on the 25th which is right around 1275 those are the three really big levels above uh, this is what we're uh, this is what we call filling the jar so so if you go up here to around 1275 and you come down to the bottom and back up it, it, it looks like it's filling the jar back to that level it came down bottom it came back up almost a v-shaped uh, recovery type of pattern here very very strong uh, reversal we'll see if it can get back up there if it stalls out in that 1250 50 uh, zone that would signal a temporary top. All right, thanks a lot for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, please come check out the chat. All right, Afria, really cool. All these uh, cannabis stocks heading to the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. It is uh, uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, it's awesome to see the cannabis sector growing. All right, thanks for viewing.